Hello and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Monkey Sudo and today we will be going over how to build a simple snow fort. Now, generally the first thing you have to do with any fort is you want to start with the basic outline. Now I've selected this basic cliff side so you can do, basically get an idea of how you do defenses and all that with the fort. So let's get started. So of course you could do like the general linear fort like with this sort of linear design with right angles and such, but that's what we're going to do. We just need something a bit more realistic for a barricade fort. Now, what would you generally do with this kind of fort? You would basically start over in a corner like this, and for a palisade, you would basically want to alternate the regular in the strip variance of the logs. We're going to basically do every one or two blocks. We're going to switch between these. Make them varied heights. So, do like this. Now, of course, we want at least three blocks of height at all times. And what we're going to end up doing is suddenly bring this all together. So, we're going to make it pretty small. Because it's a basic tutorial, you can make it, you can upscale it all you want on your own time. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to basically do this. Now, what I'm going to keep in mind is generally the gate is not going to be like an actual log that you're building in Minecraft. It's going to be more like a bunch of slabs. Like so. You can then alter these slabs to make it look like it's sort of crossing in between the two. Like so. And then bringing the same design around this way. And that will allow you to suddenly have a much more detailed entrance to your fort. Now we're going to of course keep up the design as we go around to the other side of the wall. And once you go over here, this is where we're going to probably start with our housing and such, or whatever building you're going to be putting in here, if you decide what building that is. So we're going to then follow up and get rid of these grass over here. You can keep it if you want, but what we're going to do now is we're going to sort of roughen this up, cave it out, because you don't really want too much of an area this and also the caved area generally is a lot more defensible just saying and you have the walls but you also want this area where you build like any house or such it's a lot more also it can be a lot more roomy inside if you do this way. so let's do this and swap that out now we as we said we're going to switch this out for some of the stripped logs like so, and you'll see what I'm doing in just a sec. So, as we build this up, it'll suddenly look... It already looks a lot better right there, doesn't it? So, keep building this up until you're ready for the final step of the walls, which is going to be actually adding on palisade spikes if you so desire. Those would be done on using dripstone. Now, we aren't going to do that in this tutorial, but I just wanted to throw that out there that you can add spikes on your palisades if you so choose. Instead of the palisade spikes, though, we're going to be putting on slabs. Now, we'll get to that in just a second when we're done with all of these. Okay, so we have all this finished up. Now, as you can see, that looks a lot better than what we had earlier. So let's clean this up a little more, and we are good to go for that. And yep, there we go. That is good to go. And so now that we have all this, we can proceed with adding some paths around here. But this is not going to be a very advanced fort, it's just something basic so that you can build in your own survival world. So, we're going to, of course, put on some of these down here, and get some of the slabs put, as I said. So the slabs you'd put 
generally on the top of the taller ones. Why? Because it sort of just looks a little better. Like, you're not, like, dealing with too much extra. It also adds some height variation. So, like, you may throw some on on the intermediate ones like this. Or like so, up here especially, because that's just and that is how you would get that going. Now we need to move on to paths. You always want to have a path going from your main points in your builds. It just ties everything together a bit more. So we got, we're going to go ahead and do this over here. And we almost forgot to get some dirt. So let's get all that going. So now we can grab our shovel. And we can build this all down. Now once you have all this going, your next step will be to actually build the buildings. Now this could be any style you want for the buildings, but we're going to just build a simple cottage. So let's bring it on around here, and we're going to start off with this, this trip logs. We're not going to make this too big of a build, we're just going to make it just enough to where you're not bunking your head all over the place. So no windows on this one because it's supposed to just be a facade. So there we go. We're going to bring this around this way. We're going to put a door right about there. And since it's just a facade, we don't have to worry about it too much. We just have to make sure it all looks good. So rip this out a bit more and set the time today. So see it a bit better. And there we go. Now we finally have that tied together. We can go ahead and build our next section, which is going to be the roof. After we install a door here, of course, you can't forget the door. So we have all that. We can start on the roof. Now you're going to usually want an overhang on your Especially with this kind of build. So not to you have to do about one or two blocks. We're going to do a one block overhang on this. And above the door, you're suddenly going to go up a block like this. So that actually allows for a bit more headway, if you know what I mean. So there we go. Put this like so. And bring this out a bit if you're going to do it this way. Now what we do now is we switch to our regular good old spruce planks. Or whatever planks you're using. Dark oak works, anything you... But generally if you're going to do a roof, I usually advise either dark oak, nether bricks, or spruce planks. The reason being, it actually ties it together a lot more than the other stuff does. So what we're going to do here, we're going to suddenly start with this thing that I like to do with a lot of rustic builds, is you go ahead and you make the basic layout like this, and then you sort of roughen it up a bit. What I mean by roughen it up is basically you see a few things like this, you see it's a bit smooth, you take the uh, piece and put it there. You put another over here, and then maybe one over here, and then just throw one down there. Now, we finally can throw on our lanterns. You always have to have lighting to build, or you're going to have mobs spawn out the zoo. So we're going to handle that in a hurry. And now, another thing about lighting with the snow field. Usually, you're going to have a campfire in a board like this, because it's winter, you need to stay warm. And what I like to do with that sort of thing, just make it look a little more homey than usual. So you take the campfire, or the new standard campfire, but you don't leave it at that. Oh, I actually looked the hole in the wall, okay. So we're going to put three different little benches around here. So you have the slabs, you can do the slab sort of bench thing, or you can change it up a bit or something more interesting. 
like say do some logs in there but this of course is all up all down to preference i like the logs you may like the slabs it's all up to you now that's basically the gist of how to make a snow fort now it, of course, we do generally want a place to keep our animals to support. We're going to rip this all out over here and put down our little shed. So we're going to rip this all out of the shed. Okay, because usually you're probably going to get rid of a lot of the snow on the inside of your floor anyway. It's not going to really be as much over there. And after we do this, there's one final tip I want to share. That is going to be detailing the exterior of your fort. And that's going to be a very key feature of any fort or any other build you build. It's always focus on the exterior just as much as you do the interior. The exterior is what everyone sees. Even if you don't finish the back, you still need to. It's, it's part of tying it all together. Now, we're just going to build a small little pan over here. And it's going to be pretty simple. Just add a few things of height and bring that over for sort of what we did over here. Just build a little over here as well. But this one, since most of your lives are going to be three blocks tall when you're on them, you need to generally put it as so with the overhang over this way. So that you aren't banging your head if you're trying to mount up on a horse or whatever. It really ties all together a bit more. Now, as you go over here, you want to, of course, do some of this sort of thing over here. And that's our next step, is to get all this going and add another set of, you know, lanterns so that we aren't just going all wacky and forgetting to place things down. So there we go, we put one right there, that ties that all together, and now we have ourselves a working fort. What do we do now? We go on over and we get ourselves some snow layers. These snow layers are what I meant by exterior, the exterior. Because oftentimes it actually looks pretty decent to just layer these up until it covers. There's a few sections of exterior. It actually ties all together makes it look like, like you've been cleaning up the interior, but the snow is sort of been piling over as the season is going. Because, uh, and also that uh, I'm sort of sort of natural defense. People aren't going to be focusing as more much as on the interior. We do focus on the interior. And we're going to be focusing more on the interior, and I'm going to be focusing on sprucing up all this until the season's over. Or at least not huge. To also have some natural detail. So, because in reality, say a snowstorm just came by, you're not going to have a lot, you're going to have a lot of snow out on that tent. So, we just basically keep placing these until we're done. And yes, now this is basically a finished snow fort right here. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, or a like, or whatever. Even a comment would be appreciated. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, and I'll see you around.